Run out. Oh. Hello. <laughs> The camera. It was it was supposed to be recording. So now it's recording. Yay. Okay. So first, hello. This is Melena Ray Johnson with For Nerdy Girls with Melena Ray Johnson. And today we are talking about our series, like me, all of us. Me. I'm talking about my series, This Genius. So this is the first episode of This Genius, and then the next episodes will be like, oh, okay, well, you don't have to tell us it's the first episode. So let me explain to you what this genius is first. So, actually, who am I first? I'm Melana Ray Johnson. And I went to Loyola Marymount University for film school. I went to the University of Southern California for business school, where I got my MBA in marketing, entertainment, and entrepreneurship. And I am a four-time author working on my fifth book. Fourth book is Love at a Luau, which is a romance novel about a refugee suffering from PTSD who is scared to fall in love with a single dad. Today, our topic is this genius. So it is the first episode in a video series. What is this genius? This genius inspires other colorful women around the world through innovation. Oh, <laughs> this genius. So I'm talking about a person that's, I'm, I'm reading what I wrote. So let me try again. This genius, the person I'm going to talk about, inspires other colorful women around the world through innovation in communication. These are women working in television, film, podcasting, publishing, and other forms of media who should be celebrated on a global level. So we'll start by talking about these change makers right here. By we, I mean me, Milena, this is me. So the person who is the genius we're talking about today is Cristela Alonzo. Who is Cristela Alonzo? She is a stand-up comedian. She is an actor. She's a producer. You may know her from her comedy <laughs> show that aired on ABC for one season, Christella. Uh, that was about her life, helping her sister raise her kids and also taking care of her mother at the same time. She is also in, in Cars 3 as Cruz Ramirez, the, uh, I guess, the featured car in the movie. And what else has she she's done? She, she's done various other things that really touched my heart. So the thing that I love the most is I I didn't I haven't watched all of the show, uh, her show Cristela, but I did watch all of her comedy special Lower Classy, where the story that stood out the most for me, which I may have spoken about in previous videos, is her wanting to meet new kids on the block. So she had this this fantasy where she, the way that she would meet new kids on the block is that she would be the person who cleaned up their bus and they would see how well she cleaned up their bus and be so proud of her that they'd want to hang out with her. And when I heard that story, I was like, what? <laughs> I was horrified because I have lovely fan fiction fantasies of myself. One that I will share, uh, uh, after watching D2 the Mighty Ducks I wanted to be a Mighty Duck so I wanted to be the the Mighty Duck player that played with them in the Goodwill games from St. Thomas. I didn't know I did I didn't know how to ice skate. <laughs> we had no snow in St. Thomas. There was nothing there was no ice rink because that was just crazy. I mean I, obviously there's ice rinks in Florida but I just said I want to be up there with them. That's it. I mean they're also fictional people. <laughs> They're they're real people, but fictional characters. But I just had my these ideas of whatever I want to meet somebody. I'm gonna be at the same level as them. I don't know how they got there, but that's what I'm gonna be. I never thought to myself, I want to clean someone's bus. I was like, no. But the thing that really touched me about that was that was where she was coming from in her world of what she saw around her, and she felt like, well, they're here. I am here. The way to get to them is to be their maid and that helped me think about the ways that other people think especially in the United States uh, um, there's so many different there's such a spectrum of lives and it gave me insight into her life and the fact that she has come from that mindset to to the mindset of creating her own show. She saved up money to make her own pilot and then sell it to studios. 
and get it on the air and actually become a show. That That's a huge shift from wanting to clean someone's bus to creating a, an entire pilot episode for your own series and saying, this is what I want to do. And she was recently on a podcast called Latina to Latina. Of course, why would I remember the person whose podcast it was? That would be silly. But you should look it look it up. It's called Latina to Latina. It's from Bustle and Cristel Alonso is on one of the episodes. She also has her own podcast that she she does intermittently, which also makes me feel better about myself because I know that 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 she and Angela Rye have podcasts and they don't do them all the time. But they are still pretty cool people. So she talked, there was something she talked about in the podcast and she talked about, um, being Cruz Ramirez and going to, to different cities and showing Cars 3 with the help of Disney to different, to different boys and girls clubs. And there is a, there is a child in Boyle Heights who, who talked to her and, and asked her she, I guess she presented the movie and then she was this boy said hey over here and so then they were talking and he said to her you're me and she talked about before not having that that kind of um representation in her life she did have Edward James almost come to her school and talk and and that inspired her and now she can give that same, same inspiration to another child in school saying that you can do it because there's not that many there aren't that many latinx people in media at all and as she mentioned on the podcast latina to latina that many of the stories featured are generic latino <laughs> generic latino and Many of them are Cuban or Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican specifically, no, Cuban played by Puerto Ricans, which is one day at a time. But there's not that many Mexican stories, even though Mexican, people of Mexican descent make up the majority of Latinx people in the United States. So there's a, there's a whole other discussion to be had about that factor. But what I want to focus on is how Cristela is is doing great things. She has a book coming out this year. I don't know when and it's kind of hard to find her because she's not on Instagram or Twitter anymore. She had very active Twitter and Instagram profiles so maybe she just muted them for a while. But I am very inspired by her and and I <laughs> as, as I always say it's it's June 17th, 2018, so no no accusations or scandals yet, so I can still say that. And I and I am eager to see what else she continues to do and work on because she is a voice in this world and she should continue to be heard at a bigger level than she is now. So if you know about Christelle and you have lovely things to say about her, leave a, I guess you can't leave a comment on YouTube, but if you're watching this on on for nerdy girls on facebook or on the website then leave a comment and talk about your christella stories and and what you think is cool about her story or you can just email me at for nerdy girls at gmail.com and tell me what you think is cool about christella and how she has possibly inspired you also if you have someone you would like to nominate for this genius then email me at fornerdygirls at gmail.com and tell me all about them and why they are inspiring colorful women around the world through innovation in communication. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.